Diversity, equity and inclusion. Let's see what that crap is really all about. Let's watch. Cruz. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ambassador Abercrombie, Wynn Stanley. The Biden administration, I believe, is staffed by radicals. The State Department has consistently alienated our friends and appeased our enemies. You're empowered as the State Department's first standalone Chief Diversity and Inclusion Officer. Your mandate is to promote a concept on the left called equity, which I think is nothing more than brazen discrimination. You were appointed in April 2021, and as you extensively testified this morning, you introduced fundamental changes to the State Department hiring practices in line with the mandate of equity to affirmatively and aggressively discriminate. A year after your appointment, in April 2022, the State Department released its, quote, equity action plan to integrate <coughs> these so-called equity principles into, quote, all aspects of State Department foreign affairs. That very week, just days after you published the equity action plan, and one year after you began your tenure, a senior State Department official broadly distributed what I consider to be a very troubling email. I have a copy of that email next to me. Let me read from a part of the email. The email says that hiring practices have developed inside the State Department so that, and I'll quote, that certain candidates could not be hired because they have a disability. They are white men. They are straight white men. They are not of the, quote, right religion. All of these are verbatim quotes from the email of a senior State Department official. My first question to you is, did you clear this guidance? Thank you for the question, Senator. Um, I've never seen that before. You've, ne you've never seen the email before? I've never seen it. So you didn't know it had been sent? This is the first time I'm seeing it, sir. Well, do you, do you know that it is happening? That the State Department perceives, and this is, I believe, as a result of your work, that they have a mandate to discriminate against, as the email says, to discriminate against people with disabilities, to discriminate against white men, to discriminate against straight white men, and to discriminate against people that are not of the, quote, right religion. I'm not sure what that meant, but I suspect it meant that if someone is a Christian. I don't know that because that's not what the email says. Are you aware these practices are happening at the State Department? Again, thank you for the question. Uh, I am definite and certain that they are not happening at the State Department. But again... So do you believe the senior State Department official who sent this email was lying?